Dad's an author, radio host, Gold Logie winner and, well not Gold Logie, but Logie winner and mum of three, Chrissy Swan is one of Australia's most loved media personalities. Now she's just launched her own fashion range with Big W catering for women sized 18 to 28 and I spoke to Chrissy a short time ago. Chrissy, good morning to you and congratulations on your new baby. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. This one, uh, this one did not take uh, did not take nine months to cook, thank God. And nowhere near as much pain at the end, I'm sure. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> no, it's very exciting. It's very exciting. We know you're a woman of many talents. That's a given. But what sparked you to become a fashion designer? Well, you know what? The, 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 um, the big bottom is, um, is my qualification to be a fashion designer for this range for Big W because... Um, I have looked for good clothes for a very long time and they are, they're hard to find. So um, I sort of begged and, and pleaded Big W, please, please, can you, can you let me do it? And, uh, and they were so kind and they, they let me do it, which is great. And what do women tell you about trying to find clothes when you're not a size 10 or size 12? Well, I mean, look, there, there are some good things around, but it is like a needle in a haystack. You know, you have to go through racks and racks and racks of stuff that, you know, looks like it's been ripped off the back of a Florida retiree uh, to find one good thing that makes you feel good about yourself. Um, but with this range at Big W, you can... It's all good. It's a small range to start, but every piece is, is going to work. You've talked over the years um, very honestly about your own battle with your weight. Being increasingly yeah. in the spotlight over the years, have you felt that pressure that I reckon every woman feels, doesn't, you don't need to be in the spotlight, to look a certain way? Yeah, look, I think I haven't felt too much pressure from, from being in, in the spotlight, but definitely a, a lot of internal pressure and, and silly conversations with myself that, you know, I need to look a, a different way. And it's just self-defeating. It's, it, it's never going to make you feel good about anything. So I think, you know, w when I had children and, and, and this, you know, big body produced these gorgeous beings, I think I, I fell in love with myself just as I am. How would you describe your relationship with your body now? Well, I don't really think about it too much. It's sort of, it, it, is, it is how it is and it looks how it looks and I feel good and I, I don't think I'm unattractive and I just want some clothes to put on it so that I can, you know, look all right at kindy pickup and at work <laughs> and, you know, picking up the milk from the 7-Eleven. I just, I just want something that makes me feel good, just like it. You know, everyone else. I think, you know, a, a larger woman's res um, relationship with her body should be exactly the same as anyone else's, and that's fairly grateful because it's carrying around, uh, you know, your, your spirit. It's, it's a home for who you are. It sounds to me like you've worked it out, Chrissy. Maybe. Oh my God. Maybe <laughs> I need to write another book. I would, I would bottle <laughs> what you just said right there, and I would sell it for a lot of money. <laughs> Just a few oh, years ago, gorgeous. you won the Logie for Best New Talent in Australia. Australia has made its love clear for you. I know you're starring on radio these days, but why aren't you on TV anymore? Well, I think... I, I love TV. You know, it's a magical place, isn't it? It's, it's wonderful, fun television. But uh, at the moment, I think, um, you know, I've got all these children and and uh and and the clothing label and and i'm keeping busy with with gorgeous things and fun things and uh look i will definitely do you know television in the future because i love it love it love it um but i'm i'm fairly fairly busy at the moment <laughs> you, clearly you are but i i know in in recent times over the last 12 or 18 months there have been a few shots fired across your bow first with accusations yeah. of, of your children being too overweight what was that like for you well, it was horrendous. It was horrendous because I'm naturally a sharer and, um, you know, I want everybody to know about, you know, all the, all the good and bad things in my life and my children are definitely one of the good things. And um, 
so I was really shocked when that happened because, you know, my children are gorgeous and, you know, everyone's children are, are beautiful. So that was um, that was very difficult and also really absurd, to be honest, because um, a, a three-year-old and a 10-month-old, you would think, would be safe from the frenzy of... Um, of body consciousness and hatred that that we all live with every day but clearly not so that was a lesson learnt for me and that was of course closely followed by those paparazzi shots of you smoking while you were pregnant what was the yeah. worst part of all of that well for, it, it, for me it was a horrific sort of personal experience because I don't know if you've ever had a shameful secret I think we, we all have um, and often you know living with that is bad enough you harbor that and you cut deals with yourself to to, to keep that under wraps and justify it to yourself um, to have to share that to be forced to share that with my loved ones when I was so ashamed and embarrassed was really really difficult um, and then the added layer of you know, of everybody in the country knowing the worst thing that I have ever done. Um, it was really, it was really hard. It was awful. It was the worst time of my life so far. Well, Chrissy, I'm so pleased to see that you are coming back out on top. It's exactly where you should be. Model, mother, Thank fashion you. designer, radio star, <laughs> TV star, Logie winner. You're an overachiever. That's your problem. <laughs> <laughs> Never find the time. No wonder I look like a corpse most of the time. <laughs> Not at all. The main thing is it's lovely to see you and, and great to chat and you take care. Thank you so much, Lisa. She is such a beautiful woman. Well I done. love her. Yeah, yeah. She's just got an incredible warmth and reality to everything that she does and everything that she says and you know she admits her mistakes, mea culpa and moves on. She's real. Yeah. And she's smoking hot. <laughs> yeah. Okay.